This is uh, part one of the Gucci Vintage Collection. This is the sweater joints. It is Thursday night, October the 5th. It is 10 p.m. exactly. And so just going over the vintage sweater material joints because I have a part two Gucci video. It's going to be with the ball caps, with the shirt, the jacket, and the pants all the match, and maybe even the sneakers together. All right, so I'm going to say that this jacket is a leather Gucci. It was from a Gucci sponsored racing team, and the actual driver sold me this. His um, jacket is number nine, and this jacket is approximately from the early 2000s approximately 2003 this one here is from the late 1990s there and some of these items are uh, available for sale no particular price because I'm just basically pulling this stuff out and just uh, taking a peep at what may be uh, for grabs now got the lemon Gucci basics right there Got the cherry, got the cherry flavored um, Kuji Basics, got the tangerine Kuji Basics, here's all the Kuji Basics, I'm gonna swing along, show these ones. You got the, um, you got the butter one. Yellow butter. Got Snow White right here. Gucci Basic. Got chocolate. Gucci Basic. And you have a like a navy blue. Gucci Basic. And you got the cement color. Gucci Basic. So everything could not fit. <laughs> and there's a um, a. Uh, that is a beautiful shade of blue. I'm not concrete what shade of blue you would call this one, but it's a Coogee basic as well too. So moving on. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and floss out a little bit. And most of these uh, are in perfect condition. In fact, all of them are in perfect condition. And many of them from the late 1990s to the early 2000s, like very early 2000s. When things were still made in Australia of uh, Chris quality. So anyway, I'm going to try to stay in a systematic order. So anyway, you got the Coogee jeans, which has a t-shirt to match it, which is not in this picture. And this has a jean jacket to match it with the uh, embroidery on the back of it. it says, uh, only the strong survive. Got a pair of glittens, glittens or gloves with the fingers but they have a mitten overlay that can be re that can be retracted to show the fingers and those are custom made and this is the uh the look it looks could kill collection from Gucci of course everything's Gucci with the metallic Now this one's from like 1998 right here and in fact this might be 1997 right here premium suede Gucci sweater three quarter length coat this one's actually for sale and Gucci also makes a, another brand called crown holder and that's what this is right here and it's got a few of these short sleeve joints every sweater well the majority of the sweaters are short sleeve um, the ones that are long sleeve will be this one with the beanie, with the blue beanie. That's long sleeve with all the uh, now later colors. This one's long sleeve, the one that looks like Biggie Small sweater, crew neck, and this one in the back. Well, this one here is also a long sleeve sweater, but it's actually tucked underneath a, a hooded jacket with a suede hood. So that's two Kooji's actually. A Kooji jacket with a Kooji crew neck sweater underneath. Representing the uh, the 2000 Sydney uh, Olympics. And there's another pair of glittens, which is gloves and mittens mixed. Custom made. 
there is a, another hooded uh, zipper jacket back there with the black with the silver metallic. And this is a, uh, a matching joint. That's a uh, short sleeve polo, Gucci, with a long sleeve hooded Gucci. And that's another uh, long sleeve cardigan. Never worn this one. This was a uh, Gucci souvenir sweater. This is short sleeve as well. And this is the one um, has a uh, parrot theme throughout the, uh, the, the multicolored sweater. And it's beautiful. Uh, all the sweaters are beautiful on all, all sides of it. Here's another super rare Kuji. Um, well, sorry for the uh, changing from landscape to horizontal. And that's a hooded premium suede. This is another color shade of the one shown earlier. And this one's a custom made, one of the kind, the only one on earth. Um, soft lambskin crocodile with the uh, Kuji uh, material to it. And this is a uh, jacket with a lining, a removable lining with a uh, bibs. Some people call them bibs, some people call them jumpers or rompers. And it's in perfect condition, having been broke out. I'm going to get more of these made um, when I find a person who can produce this for me. But this is from, from um, the late 1990s right here. But it's in magnificent, perfect condition, and it has a a uh, a big apple or a locker hat there. And that's the T-shirt that can be used optionally to wear underneath. And the other side has a square shape. Uh, Kuji material that coordinates with all the Kuji material here that's on the chest portion of the bibs or jumpers or rompers so this is the back side of the rompers and the back side of the jacket also has the, the Kuji material going across the shoulders and this is the match with the uh, with the Phoenix uh, alligators from Italy Make sure we're not leaving anything. And I think the last one is this right here, which is a uh, custom made. And this is the place that made it for me. And this is from the year 2000. Um, maybe 1999 or 2000. I believe this was made in 2000 for me. Kuji. And this is real mink. And it's actually full mink on the other side. It's reversible. So one can wear it as either full mink or wear it as the lambskin. And this is the butter soft lambskin. And it, uh, when it's flipped over, uh, this would be on the back neck. So it's a lovely piece has not been worn. And it's also for sale too. And that's a trooper hat there with the two flaps, you know, uh, one on each foot, one for each ear with the lambskin drawstring to check, to uh, secure underneath the chin. So everything is pure mink, mink sections, and lambskin. Uji. So I think that covered everything. Um, as mentioned, you know, uh, in the previous video, me understand that this is uh, a big blast, so it looks very sloppy, but uh, it will take quite a while to do an individual showing, which I will be uh, likely trying to cover each item individually, especially for some of the ones that make people sell. 
one can offer but uh, one thing is please do not lowball because all these items are uh, very expensive and they they've increased in value just because of this age and the fact of the scarcity of it so anyway prayfully that you've enjoyed this video please support this channel there'll be more videos to come hasta luego and uh, you will see the next video soon ciao for now gracias I'm going to